Welcome to Good Mythical More. Do we know a fake Pokemon when we hear it? Do you? But first, congratulations to Nicole Tennant. You win a $30 Mythical.com gift card because you've been repping that merch in the wild with hashtag Merchicality. All right, rep merch, get more merch, Nicole. Thank you. All right, uh, not only are we gonna be identifying uh, different Pokemon, I mean, I wish we didn't have to do this, but you know, we're kind of sticking with the theme. Just let it be known that I'm still upset that we're doing this uh, because I hate Pokemon. Uh, but here's what we're gonna do. This is a good mythical s'more uh, as voted Some on more. by the Mythical Society members. Uh, and they voted, 37% uh, of you voted, that Red Link must keep one hand flat on the table for the entire more. If they move that hand, it gets slapped with a fly swatter. And of course, we have the fly swatters. Yeah, so uh, Caitlin and Michaela are Go ahead on and each wave side the fly swatters in. Look at that. Look at that. And then you're going to hit the, I'm just going to put my hand right there. Let's see what, we, I think we need a demonstration though, because I, now I know what a fly swatter is. Well, I yeah, didn't yeah. move it. There we go. Okay, now I understand. Was... I didn't understand until they did it. You can be hard. So... You, you can be more aggressive than that. Okay. Just... Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. You can't be more. Hold aggressive. on. Give, give him. Give him a nice. Give him a nice little wallop. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know, you you have hey, to accept this is, it. This is this is bringing back memories of like my first babysitter. Oh, she would do this hand slap. She had a fly swatter. <laughs> Yeah. For the hand? Uh, for, for the, the booty. For the booty. Fly swatter on the booty is not much. And, unless and you, you know got what? Pants on. Oh. Like she it. would bring it to your house? Like, no, as I an... would. My mom would bring me to her house. Okay. And drop me off so that I would get fly swatted there. And um, I mean, the the old trope of like go out and. and, and get yourself a fetch, switch? Get, get a switch. That happened a few times. I never, At the I would babysitter's have to watch. house? I'd have to walk outside. And I've learned to not throw my babysitters under the bus by name because I had to devote an entire ear biscuits to an apology yeah, right. for doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is not that. This is not that babysitter. This is a different one. Uh, and I, yeah, I sure. love. I love her dearly. And it was kind of cute. Go outside and get a switch. Kind of cute. Yeah. You know, you'd walk out there. You, you, you. It was more. She knew it was more about the trepidation. Walk out there. Go to the bush. Pull off the switch, bring it back in, and by that point, it was just like Caitlin's first hit. It was like, oh really? She, she wouldn't really let me have it. I never got she out was, that easy. She's, was that an upgrade sweetheart. from the fly swatter? Like the fly swatter was step one, and then step two was this is not a fly swat. This is a switch situation. Um, I only remember it a couple of times. I just think the con the convenience of the fly swatter took over. Mm. Well, that's your first Pokemon name, the Fly. No, <laughs> fly Swatter. But it is just as odd. Uh, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is able to solidify air mo molecules, molecules by vibrating his fingertips. This allows him to create invisible objects <laughs> through pantomiming them. Real or fake? Uh, this is so arbitrary. I mean, you said there was like. Almost 900 of these? 898. I'm actually surprised. I mean, I guess it's just an age thing. You would have been so into this as a child because it's definitely gotta catch them all. It's a collecting yeah, thing. Yeah, and there's an assignment. Does your, does Lando, is he into this? Um, does, he, does he collect a bunch of them? Well, I mean, as you know, all of our older kids were really into it when they were in like the homeschool co-op. Kind of adds up, doesn't it? Um, the, the, well, and they had a the friend Pokemon who ended were up playing. They, they have a close friend, professional, who's basically a professional Pokemon player now, and goes to tournaments all over the world and plays the card game and has like won these crazy awards. These like tournaments, like oh, well, I don't know if the awards are crazy, but no, but it's like where's Ian now? Oh, he's in Mexico City at a Pokemon tournament. I mean, this dude yeah. is like living the Pokemon high life. Yeah, um, but. Our kids were banned from it because <laughs> they were Michaela's they were banned like... from school. They well, were banned from school. What's the exchange over here? I just <laughs> thought about my hand and just made eye contact with oh. Michaela, and she was like, "She's not losing she's focus. Ready. 
She is ready. We were. We this were, is not. This is not real. I'm saying. Would, I'm saying it is real. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. I, I don't know what the what the standards are. Mr. Mime is real. Yeah. Vibrating his fingertips. For the first like six years of Locke's life, he looks like a stop motion suit guy. Jesse was very uh, apprehensive about Pokemon because they could evolve. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of where we come from. <laughs> I was like, I don't know about that. Those things evolve. You might end up believing in evolution. And you know what? We it did. Happens. We did. We believe in evolution now, and it's not because it's scientifically verified. It's because it's of fun. Pokemon. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, you, when don't you experience it in the cards? Hey, don't read Harry Potter and don't play with Pokemon unless you want the devil to take over your kids' lives. Cerberuff. Cerberuff is a three-headed hound Pokemon that grows stronger as the blue flame at the end of his tail grows. Oh, I think I've seen this guy. Uh, Sherberuff? I could not have said is his he made name. Sure, it could be is Sherberuff. Is he made from Sherbet? I'm reading it as Cerberuff. Cerberuff. That feels real, but I'm gonna say it's not. Cerberuff is fake. Mm. Oh, it's fake. All right. We don't even have a, like a stock image of something that Twinkle Fingers put together? Twinkle Fingers was already working too hard on your crap earlier. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Stinko blasked. Uh, what was that last word? Blast. Blast. It's there's a K S T. Yeah. At the I, end. I thought you said blast. Black. Black. Blacklast. You know what I mean. Blaxed. I'm just gonna call it Stinko Blast. <laughs> Has the power to emit a toxic green cloud from his backside. A lot of this stuff happens in the backside. Fart. Trapping his enemies in the floating cloud until it dissipates. So it's a fart cloud that traps enemies. Mm. I think you're getting this. This this guy's inspired by Waluigi, because I I recently fart. I recently learned that he's a farter. Like that's what Lando was telling me, that Waluigi farts. So Waluigi is, this is, is to Luigi as Wario is to Mario. Or maybe, it, or is it Wario? Which one farts? You mean you guys know? We don't know any of this stuff. I think if Wario could fart, then Elon Musk would have farted in that SNL sketch where he played Wario. Oh, because that would have been too. Then too, too maybe big it's Waluigi a, then. Too big of an opportunity missed. Uh, I it's like, called the Wario waft. Oh, it that. is a thing. Yeah, I know Lando. Lando does not lie. Just to talk about farts. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. so much truth associated with farts. Mm. This yeah. is real. A fake. Oh shoot! I should have known that because of the Wario. That's where they got it from. But the 898. At some point, you have to start stealing from your other properties because Nintendo still owns it, right? Yeah. Mm, good point. Good point. So you can like play. You can play. I assume you can play with like. Pokemon characters in, 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 in like Super Smash Bros. Uh, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can, yeah. Okay, for this one I'm gonna need you to take both your hands and cup your ears so you can hear me. Stevie's trying to make this more worth it. Not gonna happen. <laughs> what? We're Dang actually it. doing we're actually doing pretty good. Dang yeah. It. Like how are you we how are you keeping that hand still? Uh it's the thing I'm thinking about most. <laughs> It's the thing I'm thinking about most. Mm -hmm. I and I don't want there to be much of a payoff to this because I think the s'mores are gonna, uh, they're gonna fade into the distance. They're fading into the distance. Yeah, I, I'm feeling it. Yeah. Because uh, you know, well, let's make this last one count. I just don't like to be told. What oh. <laughs> Lick a tongue. Let's let let's let's make that hip a tongue. Every time -a -tongue. somebody gets slapped, let's add. Uh, I don't want to make it too difficult for posts. I mean, you guys do a lot, and there's a video every single day. You want our hands to fart? No, I don't want there to be any, just a sound. Just, it, let's intensify. Let's get like a stock fly swatting sound to make it seem even more intense. A whip sound. You can you, just use this one. Oh, did I make it? <laughs> <laughs> I had to look at you, Michaela. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could make the sound. <laughs> Lick a tongue. Lick a tongue? Lickitung's tongue is twice as long as his body. His tongue, I don't know why I read that like that. Wow. 
His tongue has the ability to pick up prey, and his saliva can leave a rash if not properly cleaned off. The rash part seems that. that how did? How does a? How does a rash manifest itself in a card game? Like, right? I don't understand yeah. that. That's like, why it's I don't a really understand how you, the you like. I don't understand Dungeons and Dragons, even though Science Mike has explained it to us like fourteen times. I don't really sometimes understand. with voices. Yeah, I don't. He's like a he's like an incredible dungeon master. I need need to experience that. But the uh, I don't understand. Like, I give you rash. Is that what you like when Ian is in Mexico City and one of these? Big ass Pokemon tournaments. Is he like throwing rashes? How does the rash manifest itself? Does I'll, the other kid like go? <laughs> like what? How, what happens? Mm. I'm just genuinely curious. Does anybody know? Has anybody played a Pokemon versus somebody else? The only thing I know is that when I did drop my kids off at a local Pokemon tournament, that it it smelled really weird in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pokemon so, is rashes very are fair game. Pokemon is no. This is fake. Very, very. Okay, I'm gonna go with fake as well. It's real. Oh, it's real. Oh, it's real. Look, Look at that. Dang. That all the thing. All he's got inside of him is a tongue, and I guess some of it goes into his tail. The reason that it smelled that way in that place you went, which I think it was that toy shop, right? You took him to that toy shop, and they play in the back of the toy it shop. It was like a card shop. Yeah. Is Pokemon is is very popular in that part of your life when you are beginning to emit smells that you don't have under control yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You put any, anything, like, could you imagine what it would be like to go into like a royal ambassador meeting, like back when we were in the RAs, the, which is the Baptist Cub Scouts? The Holy holy Boy Scouts. Like, holier than thou Scouts. A bunch of 12 to 13 year old boys who haven't really reckoned with their own stenches yet. Yeah. That, is just, that is a very specific, very specific smell, and they gather, and, it, and it's actually, the sum of the parts is greater than the whole. Yeah, it is, right? Or the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. How is that bath bomb doing? Uh, it's gone, this, this is what came out of it. Here it is. We, uh, oh, I remember when you said that. We cleaned it out. <laughs> we cleaned it out. Now, what is that? Which one is that? This is a Chase. You 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 knew a little little. He's bit mumbling. About this. He's mumbling in a low mumble. Well, and, and Devante, Devante, you're on the line as well, right? And you you know about Pokemon. Yeah, I do, but that's too small for me to see. So it is a pink. Slow bro. Slow bro. Slow bro. He's got a Christmas tree on his on his tail, a prickly pear on his tail. It's a water psychic type Pokemon. Yeah, it evolves from a slow poke. It's just kind of like a dense, dumb kind of character. Then it gets a little bit smarter when it evolves. Okay. Hmm. Is, dense and dumb. Is 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 this when you started believing in evolution, Devante? <laughs> uh, not quite, but I couldn't watch Harry Potter either. My grandma was not for that witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. seriously. Lot, lots of gram grandmas everywhere. Very suspicious of Harry Potter. I mean... Yeah. We're just too old for, we missed Harry Potter, we missed Pokemon ourselves because of our age. There was, I mean, and we also missed the back-masking devil worship of the 70s with Led Zeppelin, so we really didn't have a... But we did go to some, like, presentations in the 80s when Satanic Panic But they was, were still about... They were about what it had... The 70s. Well, yeah, of course, the people who were concerned about it were always about a decade behind. So they got really concerned about it after it had already happened in the 80s. It's like, let's get really concerned about it now. Yeah, we didn't, we, so, but we didn't have any kids' properties. I mean, well, what we had was we had, um, you know, we had parental advisory sticker on like gangster rap. That, that's what we had. Right. But that now was a, that was we, a bit more founded. We do a lot of things with um, magic, you know, like we, we sell stuff that has oh, magic. Yeah. Like this mug. I mean, both of them are act it's, are magically activated right now. Yeah, because there's a hot liquid in it. But if it wasn't, this would not have a flame behind it, and you would not see the Charizard. What do we call our thing? Uh, the cockatrice. The cockatrice is a, is a is a Pokemon. Hey, let's part, hear. Of, part of the Pokemon franchise. Oh, that's all the plugs gonna be. If you want to get one of these mugs, go to mythical.com. They're they're. Uh, 
color changing when you it's pour so hot fun liquid to watch. in. You'll make tea just to see. Gotharita. Gotharita is a humanoid Pokemon who dresses in black. She can control both people and Pokemon alike with the power of hypnosis. I don't think, I just don't think that Pokemon would develop something that was this tied to our world. Well, I mean like even the term humanoid Pokemon I don't think is a thing. Like I've never seen a Pokemon that I would describe as humanoid. What? Uh, Chase just said you something. You just saw Mr. Mime. Miss... <laughs> like... But that wasn't real. <laughs> uh, I guess I would call that humanoid, so I'm saying this is real. I'm Thanks, saying it's Chase. fake, because goth is, a, is like a subculture. Gotharita is real. What? Ah, thank you, Chase. Okay, humanoid. Okay, all right, maybe I gotta get into this. She's got four boobies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got an upper bra and a lower bra. And then she's got four head bras. Maybe they're just she's bows. Got th she's got three heads. Maybe they're just bows. <laughs> Are those buns or other heads? Now what can she do? Just be sad? She has the power of hypnosis uh -huh. and she can control people and Pokemon. Okay, I can see that happening. Gotharita hmm. sounds like a bad like disease or something though. <laughs> well, it actually sounds like something Taco Bell would come out with. Yeah. yeah. Like, just like, <laughs> a, like an all black. <laughs> The, everything, every part of it is black. Comes with a side of penicillin, though. Uh, you yeah. know what I was thinking? That so you were talking about, like the age where you start emitting smells, and then you, like, you know, that age where you're <coughs> like, oh, deodorant is a new thing for me. First of all, I feel like for some young guys, it, they have to be told that. Oh, most. Yeah, and then because it, you have to add it to your daily routine. There's some days where you're like, whoops, yeah. I, you know, that yeah. didn't happen for me. But here's the thing, girls have it arguably even worse because it's around the same age where you have to start wearing a bra. And if you forget the bra, that is a horrible feeling. And I will tell you, mm. it has happened multiple, not lately. Like you, <laughs> like yeah. you show up Stevie, at school. I actually, I was going to say something. It's been happening more and more lately. <laughs> Hold on. You, you would show up at school without a bra? Yes. And then you would you just, just own you it? You would or? just feel terrible the entire day and feel like everyone was staring at you, even though you probably had like those mosquito bud situations going on. So no one was really looking. But yeah, you would just be like, Man, and also it was really embarrassing for me at least to have to start wearing a bra. Like you didn't want anyone to know that right, you had to start right. wearing that a bra. Were, yeah, that you were having to account for something. Yeah. I mean, with guys, it's just like, it's, what, what happened to us was just like a rite of passage. It was not, I mean, you get more hair and then what do you do about it? Nothing. You just kind of slather some deodorant on it. Yeah. I mean, y'all girls, y'all had to figure out a lot of stuff logistically. Yeah. You Thank know? you. That's all I wanted you to say. Wow. <laughs> Comfey. Comfey. Say, say it again. Comfey. Is a ring of multicolored flowers. Comfey? Yeah. Comfey's flowers. Like comfy. Comfey. But C O M F E Y. Emit a soothing fragrance for its allies to enjoy. But Comfey can also shoot real flowers. Uh, sorry, it just says shoot flowers at its enemies. Wow, so it's, you know, speaking of smells. I don't know how you would make this up unless you were someone who made up Pokemon. Yeah, I'm right. going with real on this one. Yeah, it's real. All right, all right. Look at that. That's strange. It's like a lay. It's a lay Pokemon. Come for lay. Oh, yeah, lay. Comfey lay. Comfey lay. I don't know if that's what they were okay, going for. Okay, this is your last one. All right, it all comes down to this. This is the one you, you've been waiting for. You haven't really gotten slapped again. Nope. I'm Kid not, baby. I'm not fond of it. Kid, Kid baby? baby is the most temperamental Pokemon. Kid baby. He can be a sweet infant one minute, but has the ability to turn into a raging toddler when mad. So, Kid baby's tears can poison other young Pokemon. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation here. What was more annoying to you, the little infant stage of your kids or the toddler <laughs> stage of your kids? 
I think the 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 younger, the more annoying. Yeah, because the toddler stage is like they're so cute. I mean, yeah, I've never sorry, I've never found a very young infant cute. It's just I'm always like, there's something a little bit off here because you identify too much with the weakness. <laughs> All right, I'm saying this is fake. I'm saying it's real. It's fake. Yes, I did it. Celebrate with your other hand. Yes, I did it. 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 Put that in sound effect in there. Add some scientific magic to your mythical mug collection with the GMM heat activated mug available now at mythical.com.